Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I'm busy knitting the, the second sleeve on the this is on the 26 inch cardigan. Well I think I don't really know what size these are coming out until I've stitched them up and put the um the neckband on the two cardigans. Originally when I first started knitting with this the label said double knitting and I thought that's what I was double knitting with until I've done it, got a little a few rows done and realised it was more like Aaron. So after I've got them all sewn up and everything I'll be able to tell the actual proper size because I am not used to knitting with Aaron. I usually only knit with double knitting or thinner four ply. Even when my kids were little, I used to be knitting with three ply for, for them. And you know, I've had to put my light on. It's only one o'clock. I've had to put my light on in my living room. It's so dark outside and we've had nothing but rain. And my grass in my garden has just grown like something not right and I can't get any dry weather to cut it. When it does actually start drying up, I'm going to have an awful job. I'm going to be emptying the, the grass box on it every couple of feet. So anyway, I'm just sitting doing a little bit of this. I've just started on this again because I've been crocheting up until I had my lunch. And I'll put that down in a minute. And I will be making a trip to the post office after I finish this video because I have this this bag to post. I started making this as a um I was going just going to put it on eBay as a little child's bag. But someone asked for a um a peg bag. So I put the little loop on with the uh, the button and I'm going to be posting it the um this afternoon and I will be going in my car. I am not walking over the post office and that it's chucking it down at the moment. In fact there's a lot of water running down the where I live. We come down slope, slight slope down from the top part of the street where I live down and there's always a lot of water when it rains a lot and that water is starting to come up over the top of the curb. We're going to be in our gardens before long. But anyway I've got this this one to send off and then I have another one to do. I've been crocheting another one. This is a little bit larger this one take these out of the thing and show you the difference. This one has a, a larger bottom on it. The, um, the thing it's I have a one, a small one somewhere to show the difference. I did have a small one to show the both under there. I'll put one in to show you the difference in the when it's When it's crocheted around, it has a little bit extra there and a little bit extra here because this one is, I oh, don't my tape measure, don't know where I put it. I've lost my big tape measure and I don't know what I've done with my rolled one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this one is actually about 10 inches, I think. The smaller one I use for the, the peg bags. Yes, that one's 10 inches by, by just slightly more than 3 inches wide. And these ones have another one here. Because I didn't have any more there. The lady wanted another one like the size. She had one with the, um, the longer one that I did, but I didn't have any more of those, but I did have one or two of these. This one is 
almost 12 inches, 11 and 3 quarters by 4 inches wide. So be a bit more space inside the bag when it's crocheted, it's just slightly wider, longer. Well, that's what I'm doing with that one. This one's for, it's already spoken for, um, there's a lady asked me for this one. So I'm going to finish crocheting that. And that's my last, the last of my chunky weight, the last ball that I've put up. So when that's gone, I'm going to have to use any other weight that I have for, for these bags. And that one I have to wrap it up. And send it off, but I have one or two patterns to post as well. So, but I'm going in my car because I am not walking over in that weather. I'll be absolutely drenched. And I have been knitting. This is mine, my own. The light's not the same in my room today because I haven't to put the light on. It's different. This is how far I've got with the, the rosebud cardigan. This is for myself. I'm not sure how far I've got with this yet. I would measure it and see. I do about 15 inches the, the length up to the armholes for myself. And this is about... It's hard to measure it when it's... When you know. Ten and a half inches. I've knit up ten and a half inches. So I've got another four and a half inches to do up to the um the armhole. And I'm writing this down as I go. I'm going to try and make a, a pattern for it because a lot of people ask me for the rosebud, especially I have a sweater, it's a green sweater with the rosebud pattern on. And I've just recently had someone else asking me about that, if I have the pattern for it. But you know, I have a lot of sweaters that I made long before I started on YouTube. And I didn't used to write anything down like the, um, the pattern, like um, how many stitches I started off with. And, and I just knew them though in my head. I knew them off by heart. So I just used to write, jot a few notes down, how many stitches I cast on and how many stitches when I got up to the armholes or I cast off and so on for, for that. I just used to jot things like that down. I did not jot down the pattern. It's just in my head. I know how when I start knitting it, I know what stitches I have to do to get the pattern correct. And because I have I have been on YouTube since 2014, but it's only about the last five years. I think it's about the last five years that I started doing videos and things and showing people, you know, about knitting. Well, a lot of my sweaters I had knit long before I started doing that. So, so it's no good people asking me for, for the patterns because I haven't got them. I have to knit them and write things down every part you know the stitch where where i put the stitch where i make the holes in for the lace patterns and things like that but as soon as i have enough done and then knitting larger things take so long to knit i just haven't got the time to knit things like that and then got to write all the instructions down and then even if i do knit them i have to sell them afterwards because they're not going to be all the sizes that fit me. Because I have wrote this one down and I'm going to try and work it out. So I've wrote it for a, um, to fit to 32, 34, 36, 38 and 40. The 40 is what I'm doing for myself. So I'm writing it down as I'm knitting it, but I already have part of it wrote down for the 34. I don't know whether I've been writing that down from my notes I have. I'll have to have a look through my books and see if I can work out the um, the 
the pattern for the smaller sizes because it is hard to work it out just from my head alone. I have to be knitting them to get the things right. But I've wrote the back, I've got all the back down, everything wrote down for the back, what I have to do up to the finishing on the back of the neck. The number of stitches I'm going to have left after I've done the armholes and everything like that. But people think and they see, they see these sweaters and things I'm wearing and they think I've wrote the thing I've wrote patterns down all my life, I think, or think the thing I've wrote things down as soon as I've knit something, but I just jot an odd note here or two here and there. But anyway, I'm going to do what I can, and as soon as I finish this, I have a blanket to do, which was for the lady in the United States diary. I have to get those finished and message her about sending them off to her. And I have this uh, this blanket that I want to finish too. After I finish that other blanket, uh, I'm going to be working on this one. And this will be for the cell. I'll probably put it up onto um, AB when I've finished with it. And it'll be uh, either a blanket, a baby blanket, or just a lap blanket, one I might want to put over your knee just to keep your, your legs in that warmly. But anyway, I have to finish this video now because I have that thing to wrap up, that bag to wrap up. And and I've shown you a little, just a small little video, just to show you what the size of the bag actually looks like, because it's deceiving when you look on the um, the screen here but I'm standing holding it in front of me so you can see it better but it's full of my pegs at the moment that's just to show you how many pegs you can get in it so that's the size of peg bag that's what it actually looks like in size better than just being uh, told the inches so it's handy for a little project bag or for just to keep your pegs in. And I hope that gives everyone at least a better idea of how big the bag actually is. Because that is the smallest one and I put all my pegs in just to show I have a lot of pegs actually <laughs> that I hang my washing out with. And you know, I think I need to do one of those bags for myself. I have an old one, but um, I could do with one like that. So that's what I think I'll do. Keep one of those bottoms for my own bag. But anyway, that's my little bit for now, because I'm going to pop over to the post office and come back and do a little bit more knitting. So thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.